Hi, my name is Chris Ramsey, and welcome to The Shift. Throw your hands in the air if you's a true player. What's up guys? I'm back again for another edition of The Shift. This week on The Shift, first of all I want to talk about something that is coming up. We have none other than, ready for the huge name drop right here, Jeff McBride. Jeff McBreezy will be breezing his way through at the table this week so you don't want to miss that I'll have the link below where you guys can check that out it's going to be an amazing experience uh, hope you guys will tune in because it's something you definitely don't want to miss also this week we will be talking about two items once again we have item number one the Lynx wallet by Lynx magic magic without limits well so to speak. Lynx Wallet is an ingenious little wallet which allows you to... The spectator thinks of a card and the only card in the only envelope, in the only wallet you're holding, in the only world, in the only universe is their selection. So I went out and performed Lynx Wallet and we'll check that out in a second. Secondly we have Classic Carry. If you're not familiar with John Carey's work, it's great working mainline stuff that you can just pick your pack of cards up, get out there and start performing with. So John Kerry is known for his adaptations of, of routines and tricks uh, done in a simpler way but not less effective whatsoever and it gets great reactions. So we'll talk about this also in just a minute. But first, let's get into Link's wallet and the performance of the so check it out. I'm gonna try something with you. Okay. All right, first I'm gonna let, let's try a little bit of, of mentalism to get you ready. Sure. All right. I'm thinking of um, I'm thinking of a three-digit number. Okay. Right now. You thinking of one? Yeah. On the count of three, say it out loud. One, two, three. Three, three, three two. Three, two. Oh, he's great, man. He's great. There you go. I can't believe that. So now that you're ready. All right. We're yeah, gonna now. we're gonna do a card trick to get it. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're gonna try something quite impressive. Okay. Um, I really hope this works. It'll be really good if it did work. I have a, I have a wallet here. It's a man's wallet, so okay. it's huge. Okay. Um, in this wallet, as you can see, I have one envelope. Yes. And in this envelope, I have one card. Yes. I'm not gonna tell you what that card is. I want you to tell me what that card is. Right now. Just go ahead and say it right now off the top of your head. Um, six of square. Six of spades? Spades, yeah. Six of spades? Yes. Are you happy with that choice? I'm happy with that choice. You sure? Can I change it? You can change it. Okay, if wanna, you, if you feel that you need it. to change it, go I'm ahead. I'm not change feeling it. the six of. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try the uh, Jack of Clubs. Jack of Clubs. Yes, Jack of Clubs. That's an interesting card. Mm hmm. What, uh, what exactly is the reason you took the Jack of Clubs? Is there. Well, I don't consider myself a king, but more like a valet. Oh, like a jack. Like, okay, like all right, that. all right. Like a prince more. Yes. Oh, I see. That's why. Well, what's interesting here, and you said the jack of clubs, correct? Yes. That's very interesting that you would say that. Because I have one card in this envelope. Mm -hmm. And this one card is... I mean, come here, come here. You can look at it. It's very fair. Check it out, check it out. <laughs> How is that even possible, man? This is not And you happening. changed your mind. I did change my mind, Good thing yeah. you changed your mind. Phew. <laughs> That's impressive, Chris, man. That's great. Thank man. you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> so that was me performing Link's Wallet. Notice the awesome background? Yeah. It's pretty badass. What you get with this package, you get, I'm not going to divulge the secret, I know a lot of you are sitting on pins and needles waiting for that, but it's not going to happen, sorry. 
Um, you get a wallet. And you get everything inside that wallet you need to accomplish this miracle. Is it for beginners? I would say you do need to practice a little bit when receiving the gimmick, but it's nothing intense. It's more of like a memory thing. But it's really, really pretty devious. The wallet can be shown before, as I did in the, in the performance, to only have one envelope, and then one envelope is pulled out of the, of the wallet, which is pretty remarkable. The quality of the wallet is second to none. It's leather, it's nice, it's pretty large, but it's not one of those big man purse wallets that you get, you know, for like the, the breast pocket of your jacket, which you never kind of use. This one actually fits in my back pocket, so I was quite happy about that. You also get with this a link to the explanation video. Usually I'm not a big fan of those things because you got to type in the huge long URL and you can't get it wrong. This one's pretty simple, so I'm not complaining. The videos were very well taught. Explanations were great, thorough. There was stage performance, close-up performance, so a lot of things that you can do with this. They do have a couple handlings and a couple routines, but what's fun about this is that you can really make up your own routine. So if you're into mentalism or sleight of hand, there's a way you can fit in your own sort of take to this effect, which I find really great. It's not one of those things that's reliant on a specific pattern. You, and they do encourage you to actually use other tricks um, between the time that they name the card and the time that you reveal it just so that it doesn't dumb down the effect. Because you could say, here's a wallet, here's one envelope, name a card, kind of like I did in the, in the performance. Um, it's not recommended to do it that quickly. I didn't want to milk it so long, but whatever. So they say, you know, show the envelope, yada yada, do a trick, this and that, and then have them have their card be um, taken out of the wallet then. Whatever way you choose to do it, I think it's great, whether it's stage, parlor, close up. I do think it's a great, I do think it's a great trick. I really like it. Would I use this in my working repertoire? Uh, the one thing that frightens me is getting it wrong. So there are chances that you could get it wrong. However, you have to practice it. So I don't know that I would, I don't know that I love this effect so much that I would practice it enough to never get it wrong, is what I'm saying. I didn't get it wrong in their performance and I've performed it about four times so far and I've never gotten it wrong, but I am kind of stressed about that. I should probably, should probably tone it down a bit. Other than that, if you're doing any type of mentalism work or looking for an effect that's very clean that allows you to do this type of uh, thing, look no further. This is a great, great trick for that. So a uh, good job on the Lynx wallet. Check it out. Next up we have Classic Carry by RSVP Presents. Now, John Carey is a very, very clever individual. He's put out, put out a lot of things along the lines of what this DVD entails, which is working card magic. And that's exactly what it is. It's stuff that you can swear by if you're at a strolling gig or at a table or in a close-up set. You can literally watch this DVD and I guarantee you if you there are how many effects are there here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 effects. Right? We live in a day and age where normally DVDs come with one effect. Okay. Unfortunately, that's the day and age we live in. John Kerry, however, still lives in the golden age of magic where he's willing to give you 13 effects on one DVD. So I guarantee you, if you buy this, you're gonna find one thing in here, if not five, that you'll be able to add to your repertoire, to your working repertoire. It's that good. I really like a lot of the routines here, and a lot of it I'm already familiar with. I just didn't sort of see it that way, and that's one of the good things that John Kerry's able to do, is he's he can take those effects that you're familiar with, that you've either never performed or were uncomfortable performing because of the slights or whatever it entailed, and he can make it simpler, better, more effective, straight to the point, um, and easy to do. So, yeah, I really liked uh, I really liked think and uh, think and sync revisited. So think and sync is an effect that he's uh, published previously, and this was a revisited method of think and sync. Basically, what happens is that the spectator 
cuts a small amount of cards, and it's very fair, and they count how many cards that is with um, the performer's back turned. That now tells them the value of the card they're thinking of. They would then proceed to think of a suit, and the performer would then take out one prediction, leave it on the table, and that prediction would match whatever the spectator is thinking of. It's a very, very strong effect. It's it's sort of like, yeah, it's an old plot and card magic revisited, revamped, and made simple and uh, very effective. So many, many things on Classic Carry that you will be able to use, so you're definitely getting a bang for your buck on this. I highly recommend you get this. If you're someone just starting out in restaurant, stroll around, or walk around gigs, this is something you need to get because out of this, you will be able to perform things uh, the next day. And I think that's what's so strong about this, whether you're a pro or a beginner, uh, John Kerry always has something for you to work with. And I know, I know some worker friends of mine who swear by John's work. So I'm sorry, John, I wasn't able to go out and perform. I actually was able to perform. I wasn't, out to, I wasn't able to film any of the performances. But I really do appreciate this, and I give it, you know, nine thumbs up. It's an amazing, an amazing collection, so thank you for putting that out. RSVP presents Classic Carry. All right, now here's your chance to win something this week. We're giving away these two effects. And in, in honor of the life of Rene Levant, who unfortunately passed away recently, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Rene Levant, I will leave a link below to one of his, uh, one of his many amazing performances. Uh, Rene Levant was a legend, is a legend in magic, and will continue to inspire generations of magicians through what he has already accomplished. So in honor of Rene Levant, I would like you guys to simply tell me who got you started in magic whether it's a family member or a famous magician like Rene. Uh, share that with me down below in the comments and I will pick a winner next week to win these two effects. So good luck. So that's it for me this... Uh, all right, so that's all for me this week. Thanks once again for sticking in, sticking to it. Thanks for tuning the stick. That's it for me this week. I will see you once again next week with some more stuffs. So have a safe weekend, all right? Peace out.